It's the fucking Can We Not Podcast, episode 15. 16. Jesus. <laughs> we had one job, Evan. You had one job, Evan. G- great job, Evan. Evan, you, you had up. one job, man. You done goofed already. We can't Sound do the show not now. Even on. We can't even. <laughs> <laughs> We're all discombobulated. It's all good. After 15 episodes, you got to give us a chance, guys. <laughs> you you got to give us. Got to give us a moment. It's not 15. <laughs> what was 15? 15 last was last week. week. What was the title? The Don't dongle. worry about it. The you, dongle. Oh yeah, the dongle. Yeah, you would figure that because I'm I edit this audio and know. video. That's how that's know. how overworked he is, guys. He's he's providing you the best content every week. Yes, I am overworked, but straight from City World Radio. Yeah, but yeah, nonetheless, we're Radio. back. Episode sixteen. Back Family Not Podcast. Your host Evan Combest and my two co-hosts. We have Akai and Kenneth. And guys, we're back in the studio. So shout out to City World Radio. Shout out to Sky's Crescent Sky Radio. Crescent shout out to Jade. Shout out to Thank Tone. You, Jade. Best people in the Tone. business. And yes. my co-host, how are you guys this week? We Doing good. Great. We good. Yeah. You yeah. Know, we know. We know numbers. We know. We know facts what, and dates. Exactly. Titles. Since apparently, Evan doesn't know what episode number we're on. You know what day it is, right? How are y'all? How's y'all? No, nah, nah. what, what day wait, is it, Evan? Wait, Actually, wait, yeah. Wait, what no, day no, is it, Evan? Evan. No, 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 Evan. You good? What you mean? <laughs> Evan, you good? Wait, wait, what do you mean? All right, so for those who don't know, Uh-oh. if you don't- I'm ecstatic, I'm great. <laughs> you sure? Today, <laughs> today you good. What's up? What happened? Yes, oh, yesterday, yeah. Evan was going through it. Yeah, it seemed like Evan you were. Was, Evan was in, Evan, Evan was working baggage claim, because he was in his bag yesterday. He was in co-check. He had a lot of coats to check. Are no. y'all going to tell the people what happened? Yo, I don't know what it was. Evan was putting up all the saddest- Songs. What? The saddest Sad. breakup songs. It seemed like the saddest the relationship saddest, songs. Th- Sad. Those yeah. Songs, those songs made like you're in your feelings. Those were hit singles. Okay. No, no. Actually, I see why he did it. Because he was saying something about Diddy and Cassie. No, that's how I'm going to lead into the topic. But yeah. but it seemed like, you know, I don't know. You should be awake for pre-production meetings. <laughs> Man, <laughs> listen. It was like super on point with his intro. Like, yo, you my nigga. Man, you know what? All right. He all right. He led into it great. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, guys. He led into it great. But thanks, no, I'm guys. great. And basically, I was posting <laughs> hit singles. Y'all never, you know, I was just following a trend that I saw Diddy. He posted up a song. He's like, yo, if anybody sees Cassie this weekend, let her know. Tell her to hear this song a hundred play for a hundred times that's a Yo, lame this move. is love I'm sorry. from me to you that's and it was a lame michael move. jackson lady in my life yes so that's a nice i saw song. the trend and i'm like yo diddy's a multi-millionaire you gotta move like multi-millionaires if, if you want to be a multi-millionaire exactly. didn't he so fuck I up a follow- coach excuse you <laughs> <laughs> okay rude you want to be next <laughs> you know what he did it with i'm not coaching anybody <laughs> i'm about to coach you though so he do he did that and that I said oh wow this is a great opportunity I'm like wow this was this the wave we on this was the wave so I just jumped on it before everybody got on it with the bag the bandwagon riders you're right that's on MySpace so move. I got up on there and let them know how I felt put a couple songs up put messages for my exes. <laughs> Yeah, not, it, it, it's, it, it's just the wave I did it for everybody it else was, did it It was the wave Yeah then, Up until then, that second part of the wave The no, no, second no. wave that came No 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 When the wave was going up That's when Evan was doing it That's when he was putting up All the sad stuff But then he was like Wait a minute I remember who I am That's when he was putting All the, the gangster Like hood nigga shit Oh because I put the meme up Of when you miss somebody But then you remember Everything they did exactly. to you <laughs> Exactly. So then I just changed the playlist up. Exactly. The whole mood just shifted. I was like, "Yo, we to I don't fuck went, with you." No, nah, he <laughs> hit him. Chris he Brown, hit say goodbye. To I think I, I saw Eminem on there though. On he that sure second did. side, yeah, that Eminem show. Nah, <laughs> yo, let's let's talk about Superman, man. Yeah. Like, Who hurt you that bad? <laughs> okay, anyway. actually, never mind. Never mind. We're not gonna I'm bring it up. That, Episode that was the wave. <laughs> putting up songs for your exes i joined the movement i started it i saw a lot of people following it. a lot of people were condoning it i asked i, I put out a survey uh, and i asked the people were they with it or were they not and they were with it why? so y'all joining the wave no nah. hell no nah, man nah. i think we got to stop with them petty posts man i mean no you know what it is like i'm not that i'm not the kind of person that's gonna like that's gonna put up a song just because of how this one person made me feel but you're putting it's a song as a message to them. Exactly. I don't. I don't want to put up a message to them if they if they are not if me and her are not together no more. I don't want to think about them no more. So why would I put up a song like, "Hey, I'm thinking about you." I don't want to think about you. That's mm. crazy. You don't want to be like Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> Shiny suit man. Nah, I'm good. Multi millionaire. Uh uh-uh, uh uh-uh. 
<laughs> nah. Y'all stay bums. Cool. Listen, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not wow. dedicating that extra time to somebody. That's bum. Stay bums. That, that's a that's a dedication. And just for y'all, just for just for clarification, I want y'all to know and listeners that it worked. Because Cassie was on IG posting songs oh, for Diddy to too. Say. So let y'all niggas know. She's done eating beans. It She's done eating beans. Oh my goodness. It Maybe worked. she was eating beans. She was done eating beans. She she was eating a can of beans. Saw what saw what Diddy posted and was like, you know what? What am I doing? Exactly. <laughs> I gotta ask. So why do you think she would go back? I, I, Over I a song? I didn't say she was going back. Over a song though, like she's 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 obviously joining the movement with him. She was I part of the wave, so she's with it. And don't you want to be doing, man? You want to oh, be in the same goodness. movement with? Ca- if you want to be in a movement with anybody, don't you want to be in a movement with Cassie? Of all the things I want to be in with Cassie, it's not really a movement, but there is movement involved, if you know what I'm ah, saying. Ah, yeah. ha, cha, 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 cha. That's terrible. Thank you. Don't do that, man. Thank you. There we go. Appreciate He's working you. on his tight five for the strip. Yep, exactly. So, <laughs> y'all not with the wave. Nah, Y'all man. not joining. I'm it. sorry. That's a MySpace, like, early 2000s. Like, yo, baby, well, come back. I was so hurt. But the news last week about them not being together. Mm. So I was super happy just to see a black couple, you know, remember what they had. Or, recon- or reconcile. And reconcile and just come back. They got <sighs> ten almost ten years. Like, oh, was it just the song? They have ten years of history. Yeah, that's true. Like, that's like her best friend. Mm. No, no, I, I, I'm not be, I'm not saying yo, anything I against it. I, I, I see where you're putting it. The intricacies of their relationship, but that's like But we know, also don't know what happened. We don't. We don't gotta have know. Split, so I don't gotta know. So why we gotta know about the song? I'm tired of. I'm it. just glad that they're getting back together. Black so, love. Swack move. Though. Black love. You don't like black love, so do you get applause for black oh love? Oh my god. It's okay. You don't want to applaud black love. I Besides, love black love. I am support, black myself. You don't black <laughs> I too am a it's black crazy. man. <laughs> why are you touching my soundboard? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this dude crazy. Black love. crazy word so all right wilding, right yeah it's crazy no. so speaking of black love that goes on to my next couple <laughs> will smith and jada smith yes jada smith. yes yeah jada pinkett you said jaden jada smith they the smiths they yeah jada the smith they still the smiths so i'm right jaden smith right. and will smith going out <laughs> no that's I, I didn't say they were okay i said good. black love black oh he can't love his son true nah no he all can right. love his not son. as a black man this guy hates black love. Stop Listen, talking about man. <laughs> it's crazy. So the um, Red Table Talk came out. Mm-hmm. We were talking about it last week and some of the headlines. We watched it. Fellas, yes. what do we think? It's great. It was very, it was very, very insightful. insightful. Yes, yeah. definitely good. I, I enjoyed it because it spoke on a lot of things that I guess will pertain to black love and, you know, how people aren't able to reconcile as easily but i definitely liked how they were able to touch on lots of things in their relationship that would seem like whoa i don't think we can talk about this especially live and that many people i think it's definitely needed people need to see that yeah it was it was it was very interesting to see that side of people that you only hear about in media and read about in like like articles and stuff like that and it's just like to hear to actually watch them sit down and talk about like the 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 details of how they met and how they how they like got together and stuff like that like will talking about like uh alfonso carlton like basically <laughs> introduced them it was like now that was crazy nah, carlton he, dated he, J- yo, that, J- that first <laughs> That was wild. I was yo, like, you yo. fucking behind Carlton? <laughs> <laughs> no, Alfonso. I'm sorry. If a dude named Alfonso pick your chick up on a motorcycle, it's done. You that's, got the girl. That's I would have it's never clip. thought. The, the only person you can be is Will Smith to be able to swoop in like, swoop, swoop. That's still I'm just, It's funny insane. as hell. I'm sorry. You know <laughs> You gonna let we love and we love Carlton exactly. We love Carlton. We love but, Alfonso. But, then, but now to find out that he took that he dated Jada. <laughs> let's let's, 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 let's yeah. just let's say let's, stop, let's stop the let's stop let's pause the oh. story from Will right here. Let's just let's, I like this topic. Uh oh, oh man. Is it is it like do we as men judge women on the men that they date? Yes, unfortunately, both like, sides like, do it. Yeah, yeah, everybody but does. It's it. a matter of who's more judgmental. Mm, I think that's I the like case. Where we're going. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's who's more no, judgmental. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like I, I definitely agree. Like it is, it is a very touchy subject. Like, oh, who, who were you with before me? 
Like who? It says a lot about you. Exactly. I feel like, like guys are gonna be that way. But they're gonna be more judgmental. Some, I'm not. No, no. I feel what like, if it was your nigga? If it was your friend, your friend of your like homie. years, and then you sell just like out of nowhere, she comes back out of the blue. She moved away or something like that, and she's like, "Yo, I'm here." And you're like, oh yeah, yeah, I just met this girl. Wah, da, 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 da. And then your homie, yeah, and, so and then, I'm yeah. gonna say that. Like, what if I'm it's just, like you meet the girl, you build a connection, then you find out later on that your your homie dated her. But that's why I think dudes would be a lot more judgmental of it. Is it really judgmental? Yeah. It's more of like I just be, can't mess with you. I'm not not I hate you. It's just I can't. Yeah, mess we'll, with you. we'll 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 approach res- it that way. But as almost a respect thing. Yeah. I, I feel like it line. would be a respect thing. Yeah, it's a, it's a line. It's a boundary. Men, men are a little bit. Well, I guess I don't want to say men are more strict with their boundaries, but you know. But let's imagine that you're a year into the relationship. You and your homie, like he's doing his thing halfway across the world, whatever. You're meeting and catching up with this person that he was involved with, and then out of nowhere, you, find you guys, out. you found out. Would you're you gonna still. Would you leave? That's that's why I feel like guys are gonna be more judgmental in that state. Because you feel just like, like most guys would leave. Of course. Yeah, okay. <laughs> if it was <laughs> if it if why'd you look at me? Yeah. <laughs> why, listen, I gotta look at you. I, listen, we've been on this podcast for fifteen episodes of 16. people know today is today is number sixteen. 16 so See? we've only been on for 15. Come on, man. You got it. When we wrap the, up, this doesn't count. No, we we're in the process yet. of it. We th- the whole those, building no, might no, explode. Y'all one of those. Y'all don't count. Y'all don't count one. Listen. All right, cool. Y'all just start at Ma- two. Listen. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> All right, Brian McKnight. A- anyway, All right, what listen. you were saying. No, I, I would just really say, like, yo, if it came down to it, I can't move forward with that because it's always going to be that kind of weird energy. I would really need to be secure with everybody involved Wouldn't it depend in on if that friend that dated the... How your, the relationship ended yeah, between them. Yeah, are they still in the picture? Because what if they're not in the picture? You just find out. It's, oh, your friend's not around. He moved. He's in a whole other state. I'm, he comes okay. to visit, and you find out during the holidays, and then he goes back to his regular life. In that sense, uh, it's 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 you probably have to do a little more soul searching about the whole situation with everybody involved. Uh, I don't know because it's just like it's shaky for me because it depends on the friend, and it also depends on the person that you're involved. It's with. like an acquaintance. Yeah, it's not like a nigga, nigga. But if it was, it ain't squad. It ain't squad. If it was it squad, squad, it ain't squad, it ain't squad. If it was squad, squad. If it was team, it's it's gonna be a little different. If it was team, yeah. Because it's like the way. Because it's like okay. The only thing I'm gonna really bring up here is like the sidebars and the inside jokes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I know that could easily happen. But if at any cool point, with team, then you know that they cool. They so. cool with team, but. <laughs> I team got like, a group I, chat. I don't like how he keep looking at me. <laughs> no, I'm I'm trying not to. <laughs> I'm trying I'm trying to approach the host and give the viewers them and listeners. The I don't get it. Listen, all I can say is the battery's dying on that. But if it came down to it, no, Jay, the, the live yeah, stream. the live yeah, stream. The live, the live might on. die, but we still alive. But go. I'm so just saying, <laughs> if it was a nigga, nigga, it's gonna take a little process. The only reason why is because you kind of have to get right with the fact that. There's a potential that you are going to be with this person. I, when you I were already to, with them for a whole year, so yeah, you would have thrown that away. Like, I, I think um, a big point to go back into the conversation about Will and Jada on uh, Red Table Talk was that he said something really profound. He was like, oh, you know, just the fact that if, I, if I'm going with someone, especially a, a female, they're, they're my motivating factor. Of wanting to do better and to achieve greatness. So if your homie was there first, that that affects it. For me, in a way, it's like I have to be secure with that because everybody's, in a sense, going along for the ride. You know, like I'm gonna want to see my my best man as my best man, but then it's just like, oh wait a minute, my best man when I, with my best chick. All right, so wait, it wouldn't be one of your best. It wouldn't be your best man, but it'd be like somebody you're close enough with who you would consider to be a good yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Like that, because that that's, that that's a little it. bit of work. I'm yeah, sorry, you got Everybody got to be a little secure with that, because there's there's a I lot mean, that I'm, I'm just saying. I'm not disagreeing. I just want to hear you out. I mean, I want to be an adult about it, but you know, yeah, I wanted you to explain your point for listeners who might be iffy about it on the fence. I like everything that you were saying. I never, I'm not disagreeing. No, it looked like you were. Mm-mm. It looked like no, just no. A, just I'm being very bit. objective. Just what about you, Kenneth? Uh, if it was like like if it wasn't a close close friend, it was just like somebody somebody I knew. A friend that's you're not a friend not, of a friend. No, it's somebody who you're close with. You don't see them as often because they moved away. So you find out, 
but it's somebody who's close enough with you you would consider them to be like a groomsman at your wedding not a best man but a groomsman they're that close with you i mean i would have to talk to i would have to talk to each of them like individually and f- like find out like damn how many the whole groomsman was just- <laughs> her and him yeah. oh like, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry talking, i'm talking to both of them but i'm talking to them separately to find out like okay how like not obviously all the nitty gritty details, but like how the relationship like ended, like if they're still on good terms, like exactly what happened. Because I don't want I one, it was a mutual breakup. If it was a mutual breakup, then yeah, and they cool. Yeah, then I don't see it. I don't see an issue with it because I'm not going to purposely bring her around him, and then I'm not going to bring him around her and seem malicious because I don't want to. I don't want to ruin my relationship with her, and I don't want to ruin my friendship with him, even if we're not that close. Like I'm still not gonna be like, hey nigga, I'm with your girl now. Ah, uh, ah, uh, like, like I'm not gonna do that shit. That's fucked up. So, I I don't see a big issue with it. But if it was like a a bad breakup, then like it really does it it really does like require talking to both of them and figuring out like myself. How so I, I would guess do it. variables matter. Exactly. I mean, I don't have an answer for this one. I don't really have a position in it. If a friend, I'm like I said, I'm really much more like how Kai was saying earlier, like my principles are my principles. So I feel like if you did date somebody I know, I'm most likely not going to continue seeing you. But considering all the variables that we threw in there of like, oh, you didn't, it's a friend that's close, but you don't see him all the time. And oh, but it's a friend that's close enough. You would consider like a groomsman at your wedding. It's, Mm. you know, it's a lot. And you've been with her for a whole year. It's a lot to consider. It's a hard decision. I don't know. Leave it up to the listeners. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, hit us up. Definitely. Hit us up. Let us know what you think. Guys, what are your social medias? Godzilla underscore kinda on IG. Rojo Fiasco on IG. And guys, you already know my Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, all of those are at Evan Combest. And don't forget to go to our Can We Not Podcast Facebook page and you can hit us up on there. Let us know what you think. Us a like. Now, back to Will and Jada. Yeah. yeah. Now, then they went from there and they talked about how they met. Yes. And they oh, said that yeah, she yeah, was yeah. with some dude. He said, oh, he's with some joker. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, any <laughs> black person that says joker instead of nigga, you know it's old. Yeah, <laughs> they, like, they definitely old say, school. <laughs> he wanted to with say some old so if, if he didn't say joker, he was going to say some some cat. Yeah. He's some old cat. Second you know, of yeah. all, I know he was talking about Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> with Tupac, really? No, nah. Think of the timing. He wasn't talking about no Tupac. Think of the timing. I mean, he didn't refer to Pac as one of her relationships, but he did remember get a you little. Remember the part he was, was like, a little you know, like, I dated a lot of men. Like, all right, all right easy, yeah, now. easy now, relax, easy now. You I, can I'm see out of here. I, I, how uneasy. I felt that. It was like, <laughs> look, listen, woman. I felt that. Look here, lady. <laughs> L- no, listen, Joker. <laughs> I mean, I mean, but have you ever had that problem? You know, in a relationship where like they talked about their their past, like you know. No, I don't mind that. No. A woman talking about her past if she's cool and well past it. Yeah. Yeah. T- like what I want to know lot, about. Though? I want to know about it. What if it's a lot? Though? It's a part of you. Okay. It's a part of your road and how you became the person you are today. I want to hear it. I want to know your thought process. I want to know all the things that made you who you are. I want to know that. I'm not insecure about that. I don't Fair. know. What about y'all? No, I'm not insecure about that. If you want, if you willing to talk about it, talk about it. Go ahead. I've I've been through relationships. I I've, I've seen it all. You it's don't fine. want them to talk about it. No, I'm. That's perfectly fine. I, I thought you were just saying, given, no, like, given no, the, don't say no, shit to me. No, given the background <laughs> history that I've had, I definitely do. I want to hear it. <laughs> I definitely do. I, no, I it's need appreci- that background. It's like, hey, yeah, you know, just just fill out this paper. Yeah, you by all means, of course. Yes, keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Tape oh, you need. Oh, you need another paper? Oh, okay, I got you. That's perfect. Well, another fine. paper. I'm fine <laughs> with, listen, it's a matter of having that adult conversation because you have to have that. I mean, you can't avoid it and just be like, oh, well, you know, this happened. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, I want to be able to, you know, go into this okay and not have any surprises. Because mm-hmm. that Makes sucks. Sense. Yeah. Makes sense. Which is cool. And then they talked about that, too. And they also talked about, you know, a rule that they came up with in their relationship about how they deal with anger oh, and disagreements. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, the, that, ar- the arguing thing. Yes, there. that, you know, there was, a, there was at a party, and he had um his first son, who was two years old at the time, on his lap, yeah. and they were playing, like, some card game with, like, a, at a party with 20 people, and she cursed at him. Jada cursed at Will Smith, and he was like, <gasps> <laughs> and he took a newspaper, bopped her on the head, took her outside, <laughs> and said, listen, I will not be in a relationship where there's anger, violence and vulgarity in, in vulgar mm-hmm. in vulgarity language he says if you are going to do any of those things then you need to leave and she was like, and she cursed again and then she yeah, cursed again she yeah. cursed again he was like then you need to go get out 
It's like, yeah. you're going to break up over me? Over, over, over some over words? words? He's like, like yes. yes. Yeah. And yeah. he, he said so he let it be known and he stepped out on her and she like eventually calmed down, came, you know, came back to him. And then they had to learn how to, um, as a couple, they took um, communication lessons, yes. therapies and mm-hmm. all of that to learn how to speak to each other calmly whenever like, whenever like tensions rise, yeah. they like, they have to say, I can't speak to you right now. Please allow me to decompress and process mm-hmm. my feelings and, and come, come to you and the, way, the, yes, yeah. the way you deserve to, and come to you the yeah. way in, a, in a manner that you deserve. And I, I love that because yeah, that's something that I really I, do. That's something I practice a lot in my mm. relationships. I remember that one time with a girl cursed at me. She called me a bitch, and I had to like. Li- can I had we to get context <laughs> after the show? Can we get context? <laughs> <laughs> Tone sitting there doing a robot in the corner. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> sorry, live. You can't see it, but Tone nah, was killing it right now. This, this woman <laughs> called me a bitch. That I was seeing, and we was in, a, you know, because she disagreed with. Just something. Say it one more time, please. No. <laughs> easy now. <laughs> easy now. Easy now. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh, bitch, am I? <laughs> no, no. She's she's arguing on the phone. It's like, yeah, no. Nah, I'm just talking to some bitch right now. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> uh, oh, she don't. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my newspaper? <laughs> Unfortunately for me, I didn't have a newspaper to bop her on the head <laughs> like Will did. But I did like set her aside and had to tell her like, yo, I'm not going to allow you to speak to me. Mm. Like, listen, we're not going to talk to each other this way, yeah. especially over a disagreement. You are old enough and mature enough to, you know, advocate for yourself and, you know, articulate your feelings in a manner that both of us can understand. And if you don't understand how you feel yet because you're too angry, mm. then take some time to decompress, chill out, and you can come back to me when you calm down and we can talk mm. at that point. And I had to, like, you know, do that. And she just left. But <laughs> 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 Never spoke to her again. <laughs> Never seen Never her again. again. She won't DM me back. <laughs> <laughs> she won't unblock me. <laughs> she, won't. <laughs> she won't. It's crazy. <laughs> Seriously, stop. <laughs> unblock me. I, I love you. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be the title. Oh, block me! I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Oh my god! <laughs> so, oh, shit. Oh, they, that whole thing, you know, was a thing. I love that. Yeah. And I saw a little bit of, you know, backlash online yeah. of people like disagreeing with that. Like, oh, that's training. How dare you like try oh. to, you know, suppress your partner's feelings and that they can't express themselves in the way they need to and what? this and that. And that made me just want to ask the question, like, yo, is that really wrong? No, no, it's not. Let, let me let me address this first. It's not training when it's like, like, if you're if you're telling your partner, like, hey, I don't want to argue in such an immature and boisterous manner. I just like if we're disagreeing about something, if we're not coming to an understanding about something, hmm. let's sit down and talk about it. Not yell, not curse, not not be petty. Let's talk about it. Because there's something trying to be rational about it. Exactly. Because because if we're gonna be in a relationship together, there needs to be rationality, there needs to be an understanding, there needs to be calm, and there needs to be an understanding of like, okay, here's here's where you're coming from, here's where I'm coming from, let's meet in the middle. Because if it's like, Oh, I don't want you doing this, this, and this, but I'm doing A, B, and C, it, like let me know that it's bothering you in a calm manner. Don't be like, um, excuse me, I just think it's funny how like any any time you Anytime the words, I just think it's funny how. It's never funny. Exactly. Nobody ends up laughing. (laughs) Nobody ends up laughing. I know this trick. (laughs) Wait a minute. And I'm a comedian. I've never been, I've never heard another comedian. (laughs) I just think it's funny how. Nobody's ever said that on stage. (laughs) Never in the history of stand up comedy has a comedian ever said, I just think. I mean, I think Jerry's. He's never said. What's the deal with? He's kind of prefaced. No, but he's never said, I just think it's funny how. He should. That exact phrase. Should try tonight. I'm not. I don't want to. Evan's going to be at the strip tonight at 10. Come on down. When you say it like that, it makes it sound like I'm going to be doing things. <laughs> even an <laughs> officer. Telling jokes. Even an officer. So, anyway. what, about, what about you, Evan? No, I just told my story. I already know how oh, I feel. Oh, I just, I just <laughs> spilled my heart out to <laughs> my ass. <laughs> I wasn't listening. <laughs> well, no, the, the whole training bit. That's what we meant. Yeah. Yeah. That's I mean, you, that, you, so you feel that this is something that you practice within your relationships, you said. Mm-hmm. Now, how do you feel... 
that the other person would reciprocate that? Do you think they were open to it? Do you think they nah, were a in all like, seriousness, like she did get it, and you know she came back, and yeah. you know that's how we tr- that's how we spoke to each other mm. and things like that. We tried to make sure that we spoke to each other on a very well mannered level. We tried to make sure there was no profanity when yeah. we were discussing serious, you know, situations that evolve our feelings. If somebody feels hurt, we make sure not to curse or belittle anybody's feelings because that's the last thing you want to do. Yeah. They even spoke about that on Will and Jada's show about like once you get to that point. It becomes addictive, and you can't yeah. take it back. And you can't take mm-hmm. it back, and then you have to apologize for the uh, initial reason, and you have to apologize for the reaction, the reaction yeah, exactly. yeah. behind like, it. So you, you, it's like you it's can't, you can't, un, you can't, un, you can't uncrack an egg. Like yeah. once, once it's there, that crack is there forever. You know, it's like you have to, you have to keep in mind that what you, what you say, your words hold weight. So if you're, if you're gonna say something, say, say what you mean and mean what you say. That's just, and one thing that I like, yeah, that's what they said. And like throughout that whole show, one thing that I really took away from it all was that they've been married for so long. But when you listen to what they were saying, it wasn't until maybe around eight years ago that they actually she said when she turned 40. Yeah, that's yeah. when they really started being happy and started like really get the ball rolling. So it took a lot of work for them to get mm-hmm. to where they're at today. And that's one of the I guess the highlights of them being so private is that we never noticed it because Will even spoke upon that too that we were winning in the public eye. Like you know we got movies, we got TV shows you know music you got your, videos. Yeah, music, interview the president. Yeah the interview Nobel the Peace president Prize. all of this type of stuff but at home we were failing. So it was like it really spoke to like how Will it was like a, such a person that was like, yo, my my the image of my family, everything's mm-hmm. so important. Yes. And, you know, you can't value what your idea of a perfect marriage is outside of actually practicing no the proper yeah. building tools to make a perfect marriage. Mm-hmm. And it takes a while. So like he said, twenty years is a long time to do, and even they yeah. they spoke on the whole forty five days of them crying every day and getting past that. Yeah. yeah, and they'll speak more on it. Um, this is airing Monday, so it'll be airing today, the day that you're hearing it. But we record the night before, yes. so we'll speak more on it next, next week. week. Next episode, episode number. You tell me, nigga. I don't know. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you haven't watched the Red Table Talk already, definitely ca- check it out. It's definitely now, exactly. a great, insightful. What, make sure you watch that video. after. Don't be clicking off of this to go there. Exactly. <laughs> finish this. Watch <laughs> both. Just watch both. Finish this. Listen to this. Then support watch black this, business. Support then... black love. <laughs> support it all. <laughs> Minority justice. There you go. <laughs> but yeah. Oh. I know that sound. I like how he's using this music, but he doesn't watch the NFL. That's right, now, we're back. <laughs> Kenny G with sports. <laughs> That's not my name. <laughs> but uh, it's not Kenny G. It was. It's not. Uh, you know, it was. It was kind of a slow week in sports. Not. Not. <laughs> not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Yeah, not much sports was being played this no, week. Uh, it's it's back a, to you. An an expert analyst. Yo, no, what happened? <laughs> Nothing. Back to you. Ed's. No, it was Reverse. <laughs> draw four. Draw four. Draw four. Draw four. That's wild. <laughs> Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> no, it wasn't. I meant like there wasn't a lot of big, big stories that happened in sports up until like this morning. Uh, hmm. Cavaliers head coach Teron Liu was fired because the Cavs went 0-6 so far in the season. So they were like, yeah, Ty, we, we thank you for the championship that you brought us. Uh, we thank you for bringing us to the finals all these years, but you got to go uh, clear out your office and your locker. We don't want we don't want you around here no more. Damn. Yeah. So Teron Liu is out of a job. So uh, Cavs, you can at me. Uh, I, I don't want to coach. My winning percentage in 2K is the highest. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I draw play like the best of them. <laughs> no, I don't want to coach. Let me play. Don't you uh, got no? I can <laughs> play, <laughs> bro. <laughs> I'm gonna get, gonna do I'm gonna get the fuck up out of here. I'm gonna go to JFK, catch me a flight to Cleveland, so I can oh, set some screens goodness. for Kevin Love. I can I can high five with the best of them. I can pass <laughs> niggas towels, and I can make a cool couple million. Just not even getting off the bench. That's it. That's it. That's all I want. He don't want even want to get off the bench. Wow. I don't need to if I'm collecting checks like that. So that's what's happening in Cleveland. <laughs> Over in San Antonio, Greg Popovich has recorded his 1,200th win as a coach. Damn. Yes. Respect. He is now fifth of all, fifth overall in wins. And by the end of the season, he just he's going to be in third because number three, I forget his name at this time, only has 21 more wins than him. Damn. So after the, after this season, Pop, it's most likely. 
most like yeah, most likely he's gonna be number three in in wins as a head coach after Pat Riley and I that first name I remember reading it and I was like, yo, I need to remember this name, but I can't remember it off the top of my head. Boo, get the fuck <laughs> yeah. out of here. Yeah, get me get Fire me the fuck from out sports. Of here. And then the final sport final sports news. Uh, the first trade ever in MMA occurred this week. As, oh, yeah, I saw about that, yeah. Uh, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson, the former 125-pound champion from UFC, he's heading over to one championship fighting in Singapore. And from there, we're getting, uh, not we, but UFC is getting Ben Askren, undefeated uh, welterweight champion. I heard a lot of people were asking about him, right? Yes. He's... If you're if you're a big fan of MMA, a big fan of fighting, he's like he's one of those guys that you're always like, oh, I want to see him against GSP. I want to see him against uh, Nick yeah. Diaz. I want to see him against this guy, that guy. So, are we expecting to see some like exciting fights? Hopefully, he's been as soon as as soon as this news broke, he went he took the Twitter and was calling out a whole bunch of fights. He's calling out Kobe Covington, calling out Darren Till, calling out uh, calling out a whole whole list of names that he wants to fight. Telling Dana White like, yo, set me up now. That's I'm ready. Crazy. Now. I actually Wait, found a clip of him talking about uh, all those fights. What's that? It's crazy. He never sounded like that in all his other interviews, but should not to get too. Yo, when you get yeah, when you get the money, money. Oh, you making money, money. Yeah. Are you fighting? And niggas were responding back, and he was like, "Listen, knock it off, fuck any fuck, nigga. Relax, relax. Not to get too crazy deep into it, but how do you feel about them like sanctioning this? Like, well, you think that's gonna like make a whole big case in the MMA and all that UFC? Well. The the positive side of it, I see uh, the the fighter that left from the UFC, Demetrius Johnson. He was the inaugural uh, 125 pound champion. He recently lost the title by by split decision, and the issue with the issue with him was he wasn't a big marketable champion. He was only mm. he's only like five foot four, you know. He walks around like 145, but he wasn't like a big name. But if you were a fight fan, you knew him because he's like. He was like number three pound for pound best fighter of all time because of like how well he executes his techniques in in the cage. You know, he broke Anderson Silva's record of consecutive title defenses and UFC just never acknowledged and never paid him his due, Damn. honestly, because he was just like you're just not, if you're not if you're not a shit talker, you're not you're not getting you're not getting those big pay per view buys and stuff like that. Yeah, you gotta sell drama. Yeah, definitely. Exactly. That's so what it is. bottom line, you think it's good, bad? For him for him it's good. For UFC, we're get, they're getting they're getting they they're getting a new they're getting a fresh face that they could possibly match up with like some big names, you know, sell tickets, sell seats, make money. There you go. Hey. So that's all that's all that the UFC cares about, making money. Not putting it on a good show. Money, 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 money. And now a coward music. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I wasn't prepared. I was getting my <laughs> new album reviews. Ready. I was getting my files ready. <laughs> yeah, would you? Well, you wouldn't review any new albums. I should make you review new albums. If you guys want to hear some reviews on new music, well, we could force a kind of listen to all oh, the new stuff. Damn, because they know how much I have like battles with Post Malone. So it's I don't crazy. know. It's just kind of I don't know. I just got like to to the point of liking him. Tolerating kind of. his music. I say liking. Tolerating is just like, ah, oh, Post Malone. Okay. Mm. All right. That's, I guess that's that. But um, yes. the next topic that I want to talk about, it was something I mainly talked about last week because I put like a little thing up on my IG asking questions about it and <clears throat> seemed to get a real like, you know, pushback on that from a lot of people asking the question of, um, would you delete your social media for a healthy relationship if your partner said, for our relationship to work, you got to get rid of your social media? Would you do it? It's two no two questions that go into that. What are is they it? doing the same? Mm, that's one and two. And if so, how do I stay in contact with the people I know? What if it's for a business? Text them. Text them. But what if it's for a business purpose? Exactly. That's an that's one. that's the thing that you know comes up nowadays. Like some people. But I'm like, uncomfortable with you just liking pictures and going. Shouldn't have signed up for this life. What? There you go. No. <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> but I, I mean, I think that's a that's a. A really iffy subject because a lot of people use their phones. A lot of people are connected socially for a lot of different things that they do, either for work, either for connecting with family and friends, or just you know seeing what's going on in the world. I had a lot of people say that they were okay with it. Mm. Like they're really? like, yeah, I do it. They're like, really? Yeah, I, I mean, I mean, if the relationship is the numbers. my th- my, I, I don't mean to cut you off. Yeah, my thing about it is if. If you if you feel that we can only have a positive and healthy relationship if social media weren't involved, then 
like maybe we don't need to be together because if it's it seems to be that it's a trust issue like you and don't security want, exactly like if you're that insecure about me having social media then we don't need to be together mm. because i i don't go on facebook or instagram or anything like that to to speak to other people in that's in that form of fashion i go on there to be like hey i'm looking at I'm looking at memes, you know. I'm I'm looking up funny Damn. videos. I'm staying in contact with people and shit like that. So. I'm sorry, he just showed me. No, the yeah, he showed, like, yeah, he showed us the, the metrics more than half. Jesus, yeah, like yo. But I mean, no, the people said they would never do it, but there was a yeah. big percentage that said they would do it. I thought it yeah. would be a lot of people saying that they wouldn't do it, and I just thought it was weird because to me, I look at even if you're not using social media for you know, business, you know, opportunities yeah. and just, you know, whatever. But like, I look at it almost like, yo, this is just a way of interacting with the world and just yeah. keeping in touch and having an your, extension own, of that. your own view. Cause you create what you want your timeline to look like. They don't mm-hmm. tell you what to look at. You create what you want to look at. Exactly. They just, it's very personal. Matter of fact, like, yo, if I delete my social media, how are we going to put out this content for the people to watch? Like, Word. like, yo, you, you well, gonna any cut, chick you that go. wants us to get rid of this podcast. You they know, gotta go. Though. They yeah, got yeah. hit the, Hit the button. Boo, get the fuck out of here. I mean, go. they're entitled to their opinion. Yeah, they can get it too. <laughs> they, they are entitled to their wrong opinion. There yeah, you go. They can be wrong. I tried to get cool. brownie points. I'm sorry. Mm. No, that's yeah, cool. they can get the fuck out of here. Exactly. No, I'm just saying that. We but I look at that just as like, yo, why are you trying to cut off my, you know, communication with the rest of the world? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't, I look at it like, yo. And I, that's why I ask people. I ask people to um, question me why. They're like, no, it's no big deal. I'll do it. Shorty want me to do it. And, oh, somebody, he came with me with a lot of, like, questions Ooh. about it. Mm. I got to, oh, let me go to my DMs and figure well, that one out. Well, you know what it is? Like, I just don't want, I don't want to feel as if, like, as if you're, like, boxing me in or keeping me to myself simply by, like, oh, no more social media. Facebook, gone. Instagram, gone. Shit. Go, go refind your MySpace password and delete that shit, too. It's like. Like, damn, why we got to do all that shit for? Did you have to do that? No. Oh, okay. I, exactly. I, no, I, w- I was at, have to do I was asked. I you can't remember, to. I can't remember my MySpace password. You can just do forgot password. And yeah. Put it the, the email that I used for it, I forgot that password too. Was it an AIM email? No. It was a Yahoo password. Not AIM? No. Got you. I'm f- I don't fucking fight you <laughs> after this podcast. <laughs> Listen, man. I'm punch you. You ever, <laughs> you ever want to get signed? Come I'm on, I'm going to punch you. Oh man. Jesus Bring it here. Damn it, I can't find the <laughs> fucking conversation that I was having about it. It but sucks. Wait, there look, was a, I'm talking. I'm looking. There was something I wanted to add, though, because yeah. I'm like thinking to myself, like, because there sometimes there are those people that are kind of like off the grid, so to speak. Like, yeah. you know, they don't have social media. Like, they don't have IG, Facebook. And that's cool. Now I'm thinking yeah, like they're called, they're called Amish. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got no, I got no electricity. Yes, I've got, I've got this new churn but for my I, butter. That's where I feel like you know that would come up as a big thing where it's like oh, this person doesn't have a social media footprint, but they want you to kind of like delete that. Yeah, and sense. they were saying, is that like, fair? You know? No, because this is what the um, and that goes into what I finally found the conversation. Mm. They said that, oh, what if it's just like you know your accounts, you just do mindless tweeting and you just post memes and shit, you know? Yeah, you know I could. You know why? Why not just delete it if it validates her? You know, it'd be an all right reason. And I was like, "Yo, you really feel like her taking away your form of inspre- of expression and interacting with the world is okay?" He was like, "No, nah, I don't see it as that deep." You know, you were a chick for um for like for a great four months, and she says, "Who can go to long without so- social media? Would you do it?" She try to make it like a competition, or let's say you know um her last relationship you know went bad because of social media so she would only she would feel more comfortable with you if made you delete your social media see no Valid now point. now i see no now i see an issue with that with the past relationship thing because if you're if you're going to cast your insecurities about your past relationship onto me that's not an issue with me that's an issue with you but i'm not i'm not going to be like i'm not victim blaming but i'm like yo i'm going to be here to help you with like getting over those insecurities but don't don't pigeonhole me by putting me like oh no because of what this dude did now you can't use social media now you can't do now you can't go on facebook now you like what if she was like oh like evan what if she told you yo i don't like my last my last boyfriend was a comedian i don't want you telling jokes no more (laughs) (laughs) she hit me with that one yeah and i just gotta look at her man i don't know what to say man it's just come on now dog (laughs) come on man come on man She she was like, "Yo, you being too funny. I see too many. Being see too, too, funny. Being too, too funny, funny out here. I see too many ladies in the audience laughing I wish at you. Too many in the audience would say that. Somebody, <laughs> Yo, this nigga being too funny. I gotta leave. Yo, this nigga crazy. Hit, hit the robot in the audience and everything. Exactly. 
No, I would just not do that either. I wouldn't know. And then what if um the girl said, you know, you wouldn't do that just to support her? It's just like, you know, if a girl wanted to diet, you would you diet with your girl? No, that's person? dumb. Why we both got to be hungry? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's both dumb. Be I'm hungry. eating for the both of us. Exactly. No, like any any time. What if it was for religious reasons? Exactly. That's if it's, your religion. Exactly. Mm. I, like, yo, like, like. Myself personally, I'm I'm martial arts fighter. So whenever I'm on a diet, I'm not gonna force like all y'all niggas to not eat with me. Like like yo. Nah, I've seen this nigga look at us funny. Yeah. We be on a diet. Yeah, he yeah. does. He, he be does. eating that one apple. We be having double bowls. And I'm just like, like oh, God damn. Not true. <laughs> 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 but I don't I don't be like smacking the bowl out your hand like, hey, eat this, eat this apple with me. But you Join me, my brother. You don't, you you don't do hand me the apple. The you no, just you smack the bowl. You do smack the bowl. You just smack the bowl. You don't. <laughs> or you, you stab with your, your, your afro pick or something. Something like that. You just karate no. chop us or some shit. Something like that. You know, uh, something like. Yeah. I won't kill y'all, but I, just, I, just, <laughs> I be giving y'all the mean side eye because I'm so fucking hungry. I'm just like, that looks so good. That smells so good. All right, Johnny Appleseed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for me. Boom. There we go. Found the right button. Are y'all done with yes. this? Yeah, yeah, for me, I'm done with that. So, I, that's, so y'all wouldn't delete y'all social no. media? No, nah, I got to stay and by if your partner's it. asking you to do that, that's something you should really dig into your partner. That's what, I would, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. what I would speak on more. Not the social media aspect, just what can we do what's your, to What's your insecurity? What's your, what's your, what's your big issue? Yeah, what's your big issue with social media? Yeah. More. And then that just block her. And then <laughs> That way, she, that way she has to start her own podcast and tell. Is that the end all be all though? I, I just gotta ask. Just for <laughs> jeez, I blocked me. I still love you. I just gotta ask though. Is that the end all be all? Is that like the final? Like, oh, I blocked you. No, because I, I mean, it's some. Like I, have, I, have, girls. I have exes I haven't blocked. I know. I don't. No, I don't. Well, I have one, but <laughs> I, don't block, <laughs> I don't block none of my exes. But I'm just saying that you know. I feel like nowadays in today's culture, especially with younger girls, they feel the need to like, oh, you know, I'm blocking you because I want your attention. You got to find another way to contact me. I'm I'm testing mm. to see how much you care. That if you can't, so I if I cut off one path, if I cut off one path, are you willing to take a, find another path to contact me? Snail mail. I got to send you a postcard and some shit. <laughs> Come on, I love you. I don't want to be without you. Unblock me. Stop yeah. playing. <laughs> Is there anybody who you would never block? Rihanna. Yeah, Rihanna. You yeah. would never block Rihanna. No, no. Listen, she can never do nothing. If it came me. between, is one I would block. I would block Rihanna over one person. Who? Our listeners. I'm sorry. They going. You're right. It's going to be the right. Evan and Kenneth podcast because if wow. Rihanna's talking to me, I'm sorry. Y'all, y'all good. Y'all. <laughs> Yo, man. Me she, and bad gal. Dude. She made umbrella. <laughs> you gonna hold her I umbrella never. while listening to us? The dream. The dream made up. Okay, Tone. So, Tone would Tone, block. He would not. He Tone, would block, you would block Rihanna for the dream. It's cool. You you don't what? follow. You don't follow Bad Girl Riri. Ooh, get the yeah, fuck get, out of here. There's the door. There's a man. You don't need to be a part of the army to study the drip. Listen, she dripping. Whew. We're done with this I conversation. Mean, oh, I was gonna say something. I got rude. Yeah, what we, we gotta end this. You, conversation. you said drip. I was gonna. Nah. nah. Wow. Listen, Hold on. listen, Whoa. listen, 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 guys. I want to make sure that we take a moment. <laughs> What's going on here? You know, we do acknowledge all of our frequent listeners. You know, want to make sure and our freaky listeners. Hey, can we not after dark? <laughs> oh, 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 oh shit. <laughs> Nah, nah, chill, chill, chill. That segment's coming out another day. No, it's <laughs> not. Another podcast. <laughs> not, another not, podcast. With, not with me. Don't follow Can We Not After Dark hashtag. Don't follow that because that's, that's a whole completely different page. Y'all nah. the username. <laughs> after Dark. <laughs> anyway, you were no saying. I got to do this read that Tone sent me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I got to do this read. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know what you it says. It. If it says anything wild, I just blame Tone. <laughs> <laughs> blame Tone, blame yeah. Tone. <laughs> so I just wanted to take a moment to acknowledge, just take a moment from this hot conversation to, you know, that we're having to acknowledge some of our frequent listeners and mm, actually last definitely. week Jay told us that a friend of hers loves our show oh. yes so thank you we're gonna let her know that we're gonna send her a sticker and we also Stickers. encourage other people to send in topics and ideas that you want us to talk about for weekly fan questions so that way we can always send you guys stickers I have some more coming in the mail they never hey. came yet hey. so you definitely hey. send those out so please hit us stay, up stay by a mailbox get it <laughs> 
And moving on to viewer questions. Hey, Kenneth, hey. did you get any viewer questions? I did. I did. From the I realest, never get from any. the realest nigga living. Did you didn't ask? Yeah. I never ask. From the realest nigga living. Don't ask me any questions. She she hit us up, and it's it's funny how we were talking about music before and like dedicating songs to your ex. She asked, "What song would you dedicate to your most recent ex?" And she gave an example. She said the song she would dedicate to her most recent ex was "I Don't Fuck with You" by Big Sean. Now. Fellas, nah, that's a good song. Yeah, it's not bad. That's a great song. It's light. To it's light. It's light. Would you? It's what tame. You have? I mean, I don't know if I could dedicate one song yeah. to my ex. Like, <laughs> one song. It, it. I don't know. I yeah. don't know. She, like, like. I we mean, that's on my playlist, <laughs> <laughs> and that was for multiple exes. So exactly, you no, can figure out which we one were, goes where. We were talking <laughs> like Lego uh, pieces. The episode uh, we talked about this a few episodes ago. Oh yeah, ago, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Episode you know, five, exactly, where we were talking about like songs that uh, we can't listen to anymore mm-hmm. because so of that, an ex. Yeah. Exactly. So that song I would have to dedicate to the ex because it's just like yo, I just associate. symbolic to the relationship. Exactly. So, but your most recent ex. Yes. Yeah. It's a shame. Mm-hmm. It's a shame. So guy, okay, uh, <laughs> I don't want to make fun of him for that. So. There you go. <laughs> I do have a soul. <laughs> oh I'm not gonna make man. fun of him for that one. Oh man. Um. Yeah, I'm making the albums right now. Um. <laughs> oh, you're making the song. Yeah, yeah, I'm making the song. So yeah, you know, it's actually it's gonna, made it's by g- this guy named <laughs> Me. K Ramsey. Fuck these niggas up. <laughs> K Ramsey. Fuck, fuck these, these niggas, niggas up. <laughs> doom, 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 doom. Nah. Uh, for me. If it was gonna be any type of music, I can't was that really the rubber band. band yeah. <laughs> Listen, shh. we can't say no. We can't do that because we're gonna get sued. Stop. Hey, dude, fuck these things. No, okay, uh, yeah, no, nah, I can't dedicate any music. I don't have anything to. Because I mean, it, music is a very intimate thing. The only thing I can really say is just you know, if we share a song together, then that's about it. But I ain't gonna play anything. That's too much work. Mm. Yeah, I guess that's too much thought to I it. I don't have any, but you guys have done. any. I mean, up. I mean, yeah, definitely. You, I don't think you can say like I can't. I don't have any. I we said fu- I played a playlist. Mm. Yes, I feel like that whole playlist is just dedicated to each every one of your exes. Yeah, there's something for that each was of them. One person. Wow, that was one person. Wow. There's <laughs> <laughs> a little. But, but yeah, I don't know. But <laughs> <laughs> has shots for every fucking. Body. But that that was my viewer question. What about you, Evan? I had somebody ask if we were afraid of clowns. For real? Ah, I mean, shit. I'm, a, I'm not Diddy, so <laughs> if a clown jumped out right now. <laughs> that wasn't a clown. That was Tupac. I'm telling you, he's alive <laughs> and well. Chill, man. Chill. He's showing up in Jada's house. He's showing up in <laughs> Diddy's house. Oh, man. Yeah, clowns. That wasn't crazy. Diddy's house. That That's was crazy. Ellen's house. Same difference. <laughs> it's the same yeah, block. Man. Yeah, exactly. It's the same studio. Go ahead. Word. <laughs> you afraid of clowns, Akai? What? Are you afraid, Are you afraid of, of clowns? clowns? No, I, I don't. I don't. I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm no not gonna knock what need people to be, are afraid of. Yeah, ain't no need to be. Like if you're afraid, if you're afraid of some shit like that, afraid like of no fucking clowns. Yeah. Fuck out of here. Fuck clowns, man. Fuck them niggas. Take heat. Fuck the Call take heat. Word. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going around punching clowns in the face. Fuck these clowns out here, <laughs> man. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> what? <laughs> It's just a, it's just what? a clown walking around. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, <What>? Takey! <laughs> I imagine Takey just being some giant seven foot black dude, three hundred thirty pounds, and that's how he rolls up. Boop, boop, bonk. Oh, it's about that time, go. ladies and gentlemen. You thought the show was over? Nope, nope, nope. Time for drama for your mama with your host, Jimmy Smith. <laughs> and I'm here to give you guys the shits. I need what? wait. I need you to stop. Wait. I need you to stop. I was watching Law and Order. There's there's an actual actor named yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy Smith. Yeah. And that's me. Yeah, that's NYPD. No, 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 no. He was guest starred on, oh. on Law and Order. Yeah. Yeah, he was on um so. of Anarchy too. Yeah, anyway. Jimmy Smith. Are you guys gonna let me get to my story? No. Yes. No, <laughs> the, the imposter named Jimmy Smith. I'm going to call Take Heath. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling Take Heath. What's your drama for your mama this week, sir? Well, this week I have a story. Well, it's not really a story, but it's a video that I saw mm-hmm. of a man who, you know, he called his, his baby mother. And <clears throat> let me give it back to Evan. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> thanks, Jimmy. <laughs> so, dude. <laughs> dude called his baby moms, said, yo, I want to take our daughter out for dinner. She said, dope. You know, she brings the daughter to dinner. They have dinner. And then the bill comes. And... 
baby mom's is not trying to pay for herself. Wait, baby, like, wait, baby mom stayed. Baby moms came for the dinner, ate dinner, and dude was like, "I'm only paying for." It was the dude, his friend, I guess a friend of theirs, and the baby and the baby moms. And dude was like, "I'm paying for me and my baby. I ain't paying for you." And she was like, "Boy, you better stop playing. Pay this bill." And then they ended up getting into an argument, and then she threw a drink at him and got up, grabbed the baby, and left. What? And wow. I just want to know y'all guys' opinion. Who's wrong in that situation? I, wow, this. What? I just want to know if the other person that was there, like recording it. Yeah, did what? they pay? They probably paid their part. They paid their part. They had to. So, if they, so if that person can pay they their part, and then the father is obviously paying for himself and the daughter. Why can't why can't baby moms pay for herself? Like he didn't he didn't invite her out. He was like, yo, I want to take all of us out, family dinner, whatever, whatever. He was like, yo, I'm trying to take me. I'm trying to take my daughter out for food. Like, let me get my daughter. So, but, but I, let's say that the baby was staying with the mom, so moms had to bring him and met up with him at the, the spot. You want her to just leave, drop the baby off, and leave, and come back when the dinner's over? No, he could drop the baby baby back off at her. I guess that's like. That. But is she wrong for for make, throwing for throwing a drink at him? Yeah, like you got like but the, like yo, just pay for me, man. Just. I mean, it's it. It's tough to say. Like, she basically invited herself. Unless he, unless he explicitly <laughs> said like, "Yo, I know there's people out here who do that." Exactly, and like they impose themselves. Hey, exactly. uh, what are you guys up to? Oh, y'all having dinner, dinner. <laughs> exactly. Oh, y'all didn't say you was getting red lobster. I love <laughs> red lobster. Exactly. So if it's like, if he's like, "Yo, I'm trying to take my child out for food. Let me get my child. Nothing about you. I'm paying for me." And my well, child. he didn't this clearly in the video. No, yeah, that's, he didn't state that. But I, but that's what I'm saying. Like, yo, if you if you explicitly state that, then she is wrong. Is for he wrong set. for leaving it open for interpretation? I guess so. Does he have any fault in there? Should have been clear about what he wanted to do. I mean, my whole thing is, why well, have an argument over fucking food? Especially Just pay the damn bill, man. Like, but you, we, but I, but that, that's tell, a situation you can't you can take back. That's that, yeah, yeah. That's a the 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 one thing but I would say. But you could tell in that video that they don't really bang with each other. They like, they they're, don't. They're not but really. at the same time, you got to remember that you're like we're doing, broken up. We just have a child together. You're putting this out on Front Street for your kid to see. Now this is it's something a, that's not gonna remember this. That don't mean shit. Unless she gonna video. she gonna be <laughs> yeah exactly. But yeah, I'm just like yo, just because there's too many times where you'll have that situation out in public already, and you're basically putting your child through that whole experience as well like at least for the sake of the whole thing just just pay the fucking bill it don't matter man stop trying to be like oh well you know this or that whatever so what listen they gave you a child you you want to support your child support the mom too well obviously they're both at fault it's just a percentage yeah. thing but like i said he's kind of at fault for leaving it open for interpretation yeah. but then also again she's at fault because when you order stuff on the thing and you if you expect somebody to pay for you don't yeah. you kind of like go over what you're getting exactly i mean we don't even know date, what they got don't don't, date, don't get, don't get like the date. filet we mignon don't, shit but, but like, at the yo. same well, time even though we don't it's like but at the I'm same getting time mad drinks appetizers <laughs> i'm looking at it like this that's uh, either way it's going and I know for me, that's the mother of my child. I if, 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 the, if the mother of my child is mainly holding custody of my child, of course I'm going to be like, you know what? Fuck it. All right. All right, all right. Like, I'm going to bite the you. bullet. But like, yo, that's the mother of my child. You're going to be mad child. about it, but you're going to do it. I, listen, when it comes to, for me especially, when family. it comes to... That's family. All right. All right. Here. Go. You on your Will Smith. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck that, man. Serious. That that's a I'm sorry, that's a whack ass move, man. Serious. That's a whack move. Just fucking pay the bill. <laughs> that makes sense. Just pay the bill. Any uh, stop being whack. Nah. Stop that, being that. whack. Bite the bullets. <laughs> could be worse. You could be paying like sixteen G's. Or something else. For like actual child support. Like Blake Griffin. And on that note, <laughs> that's all we got for you guys. So we want to make sure we shout out City Worlds Radio, Skies Crescent City Radio, shout World. out to Jade, shout that. out to Tone, shout out to my two yes. co-hosts, Akai, Kenneth. Thank, thank you guys you. for being here. Thank you for thank having, you having us. us. Thank you guys for having the best listeners in the world. So that's yeah. it for episode 15, 16. 16. That's what I oh, said. Lord. We out of here. We out of here. <laughs> <laughs> we out. Nationwide with a Columbia Bank Advantage Plus checking account. Use any ATM anywhere.